what's up crew? It's Moss, welcome to Guys and Girls Raw. And I appreciate you guys and girls coming along for another one of these boxing adventures. I, uh, real quick, we just did 164. Now it comes up 165 LMK. Take a look, this is for Sean. All the information and links will be down below as, as uh, per usual. Man, we'll get into it. Just in case you didn't see the video before, to your health, to your happiness. Uh, 165 is a, a lot of firsts for me. Um, this knife um, epitomizes cool and it epitomizes a lot of, a lot of trust. And I, I, I really, I really appreciate that. Uh, Sean says, you, you know, uh, he was on order for a large uh, LMK EDC, a uh, large drop point. He said, yo, bro, I, I kind of want this, the other thing that you're doing. I said, absolutely, we can do that. Let me put the large drop point back up for sale and I'll let you in on one of the ring blanks that I can have. So. I did it and he said, I want a large drop point, but I just want it with a, a ring for security in hand. I said, absolutely, not a problem. So, as far as the first goes, this is the first of my LMK ringed blanks, uh, LMK karambits that has a negative angle drop point. And, um, that in and of itself is, is pretty dang cool. I'm pretty proud of it. Um, stop talking and show you the blade. The LMK negative angle uh, drop point is in CPM S35VN from Pete and Aldo Bruno over in New Jersey Steel Bearing. The handle is book matched Bubinga that I purchased from uh, Mr. I purchased the, the blocks from Mr. Gillespie. I cut myself uh, for book match. Um, the uh, mechanical bond for that is uh, 125 titanium and 250, uh, 125 titanium tubes and 250 titanium um, tubes. No, no, so 125 titanium pins, excuse me, that, I, that obviously I peened um, in the 250 titanium tubes that I uh, flared, chamfered, and, and I epoxied up first. Um, the blood red G10 comes from, I believe it's uh, USA Knife Maker. I look at my notes sorry and I rock patterned my karambit ring now this knife the handle is designed so that you can still have a standard grip on it uh, with flare you can take a more pronounced grip Reverse grip, reverse grip finger in, or you can even chest lever. I have two XLs, but you can see how it goes. Your use should be pretty much infinite. The uh, amazing engraving, once again, is done by um, Brian Seth Tangway. I'll have Seth's information in a link below, the watchmaker. Obviously, it's part of the same same business, but the uh, number is 165 LMK. El Marshall, nice to meet you. And CPM S35 VN. He treated, tested, and tempered all in shot. Balance point bliss, balance point perfection. Your choice, but it's nailed. Uh, the Obviously, oh, and I have an incredible 
variable grind on that. It sounds like my son is going crazy. The, um, the variable grind for a thick tip, but a very high performing uh, tip. And I am just about out of paper towels. Obviously, if it cuts phone book paper, paper towels are easy. Boy, young, young, young Lloyd does not sound like he is a happy camper. Look at that curly Q. Love it. Love it. Oh. All right, let's get the show on the road. Even though it's a thick tip with my variable grind uh, and the uh, humidity is outrageously high right now. Where am I connected? Where am I connected? So, with the ridiculous humidity, this is not an easy task. But, it's like a sauna in here actually. Just ripped the dang tackle hot. Looks like we'll have to cut another one. Yeah, we gotta cut another curve with you. I swear that that was totally by accident that I accidentally cut the. Tackle heart. <laughs> so much concentration that. Oh, I can't believe it. Don't drop on the floor, buddy. I'd have to do it all over again. You guys and girls are like, yeah, bro, we don't want to see you cut. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. The, uh, the sheath per request, um, everything on this knife, uh, except for the actual build specs or per request to Sean. Sean goes, you know, bro, I want, I want a super uh, high-end knife. But I want it more robust. I want to be able to, to actually use it. So, yes. Um, we talked back and forth. First, we, were, we wanted wood, and then we were going, uh, we got sidetracked somehow to the carbon fiber uh, because of the durability of it. And, and then, you know, back to the wood. And I think this Bubinga is boss. Looks amazing. The day comes where he ever uh, destroys it or, or uh, it, it's unsalvageable from hard use, honest use, we're gonna put something else on at that time. We'll worry about then. But for now, elegance is absolutely part of this. And the book match in Bobinga is just on point, just amazing character. So. I'm really glad that we that it, that it came about. Um, also, if I didn't mention uh, polished flats with belt finish bevels. Um, information card. Sorry if I'm in the way. Information card. Again, uh, blessed me upon uh, by Paul over at Serene Madness. Thank you so much again, brother. The um, COP, this is um, the uh, blade style's negative angle drop point. Squeeze in there, blade steel is CPM S35VN. The model is the LMK Karambit, well the LM Karambit. Uh, and it's the first, so I put it on there uh, of uh, so many uh, so many firsts on this build, uh, but 
Uh, also, first first uh, LMK Karambit of any of them to use titanium for the mechanical bond. Uh, first to have book match Bubinga. Uh, there's so many firsts on this knife. It's unbelievable. Uh, the date is 8-25-15, number 165 in Lloyd Marshall's Jamaica. Nice to meet you. I couldn't be more proud of this knife. Uh, so, I'm going to put the Tackle the Hot and the information cards in there. Again, this will not be the last time uh, the knife comes out of sheath by my hand because I'm going to take a few pictures tomorrow. But because I'm running extremely low, uh, I'll give this one more. Give one more cut and so I use a fresh, fresh towel, especially on the Give her a wipe down. Um, and I'll give her another wipe down tomorrow after I take some pictures too. But uh, I, I'm not worried because this is going USPS Express. I uh, get this to Sean as fast as possible. Uh, one thing I didn't didn't mention, I didn't know how Sean's uh, method of sharpening would be or stropping. So I did cut a sharpening notch in and minuscule because I nailed that freehand grind. That's dead, dead nailed it. So uh, I put it in there though, just in case, um, you know, use old school techniques or even uh, Edge Pro systems, something like that, to, uh, um, to help them out. Wipe everything down. And uh, for the sheath, uh, I, I believe we talked about having a horizontal horizontal draw, so I have it set up like that. But I used my uh, custom brass fasteners along with the screws uh, to put it in there. Uh, and you can change it to a vertical setup very easily or even a horizontal. If you change it to a horizontal setup, you'll only use uh, two of the fasteners and screws, so it's up to you. Uh, also, per uh, last minute request of, of Sean, uh, he's like, yo bro, I got big hands, just like you. And uh, he's like, I, I wanna make sure I have a full grip on the knife uh, in sheath to deploy it. So you can see I have a full grip or I can go ahead and back my my uh, finger off for a, a thumb thumb deployment uh, if it's if it's that route. But I have a full grip on there, uh, thumb ramp in the web of the hand. I hope that that makes sense. And again, two XL with a tight mechanics uh, glove. So and, um, we'll go from there. Guys, girls, I hope that everything is excellent. I hope your week is absolutely bosh. You deserve it. Thanks for coming along for another one of these uh, box adventures. I appreciate you giving me uh, 14 minutes of your time. For now, I'm going to be blessed. Out. Urgh.